Uh, hello everyone, over here I am going to demonstrate a simple registration scenario on the website iHeart.com. Fine, if you click on the sign up link you get the registration page. Okay, you have to enter various parameters on this page and I have noted all the parameters in this excel file, email, password, zip, birth year, gender, a result I'll just talk about in some time. Fine, so I'll be automating it with Selenium. I'll be uh, firing the permutations and combinations of all these usernames, passwords, and different types of data over here. Okay, the run mode column over here signifies whether to run this particular row with Selenium or not. Okay, whether to automate this particular row or not. Okay, so run mode yes means I want to execute the test with this set of data. The first set of data I've just kept empty. Right, so as to check if you are able, if you are not able to register, right? And over here, I gradually I have increased the data sets which I which I am providing into the website. Fine. So all the data sets with run mode no will never be executed. Only the data sets with run mode yes will be executed. Okay. Let me run this. Okay. So this will be actually running four times. Okay. This is the file. Oh no, let me create a copy of this file and open it up because in the original file the results have to be written. Okay, so in this over here, this one, this one, this and this, these uh, four will be executed four rows. So this is my code. Okay, the website is iHeart.com and I have created on the complete test over here, parameterized it, right? And when I am running this test, what happens is It opens up the website. See, it's going to the website. Fine. And hold on. Takes a little while for the website to load. Fine. So this is automation testing. Fine with Selenium. So Selenium will uh, click on the sign up button. Fine. You see that the first set of data was empty. Now it's again going to the website. Okay. And it's clicking on the sign up button again it will click on the sign up and it will execute with the other set of data so it will execute four times and we'll be seeing the result as well coming up in the excel file so this is the third execution which is going on right and the last execution hold on Right. So now if you go over to Eclipse and look at, yeah, it's over. And if you open up your data.xls, you'll see the results as well. Right. That is the first, with the first data set, you could not register. There was an error. We can also extract all the errors and you can also put them in the result that what all kinds of errors were there. Okay. And, uh, these three data sets were skipped as the run mode was no. Okay, so this is a basic idea about what Selenium can do, what Selenium automation can do. All right, and it is a really very good and very strength, uh, a tool with a lot of strength for automating web based applications, especially in the regression phase.